The world is supported by four things, the learning of the wise, the justice of the great, the prayers of the righteous, and the valor of the brave. Within the vast Dune universe, the story of Gurney Halleck stands out as a tale of strength, endurance, loyalty, and wisdom. Gurney's reputation as a brilliant warrior and tactician was carved out through years of faithful service as the War Master for House Atreides. In this video, I'd like to delve into the captivating journey of Gurney Halleck, the legendary troubadour warrior who left a profound imprint on the fate of House Atreides and the intricate web of interstellar politics in the Dune universe. Spoiler warning if you are unfamiliar with Frank Herbert's Dune. As a seasoned warrior, Gurney's role in House Atreides stretched far beyond that of a mere soldier. His experiences shaped him into a fount of wisdom, making him a key player in the Atreides War Council. His teachings in the art of war significantly contributed to the growing military strength and influence of House Atreides among the powerful families of the Landsrad. Under the expert guidance of Gurney Halleck and Duncan Idaho, it was said that the Atreides' army were trained to be within a hair as good as the Emperor's mighty Sardaukar. Beyond his contribution in shaping the Atreides' military, Gurney Halleck played an equally vital role as a mentor to Paul, the young and promising heir of House Atreides. Aware of the weighty responsibilities that would eventually rest upon Paul's shoulders, Gurney approached his task with unwavering dedication. He understood the significance of imparting crucial knowledge and skills to Paul, knowing that the future of House Atreides hinged on the young heir's preparedness. Of all his father's men, Paul liked Halleck the best. Referring to him as Gurney the Valorous, Paul was endeared to his mentor's moods and humor, thinking of him more as a friend than a hired sword. Gurney's steadfast allegiance to the Atreides was well earned. Duke Leto saved Gurney from the horrifying Harkonnen slave pits, an act of kindness that lit a fire of loyalty in Gurney's heart for House Atreides that never waned. The Harkonnens cast a dark and painful shadow over Gurney's past. He harbored a special hatred for Glossu Beast Raban, who, aside from being responsible for the death of his sister, used an ink-fine whip to give Gurney a beet-colored scar on his jawline, resulting in a lifelong irritation caused by the poison in his skin. This tragic history created within him an intense resentment for House Harkonnen, along with a nearly insatiable thirst for vengeance. While the demons of his past continued to haunt him, Gurney's personality was also woven with vibrant threads of contrasting qualities that endeared him to many. Being a proficient player of the Balisset, he was often jovial as his light-hearted nature and musical talent provided a comforting presence in the otherwise stern environment of the Atreides household. Gurney was also seen as a scholar, frequently quoting verses from the Orange Catholic Bible. At times, his quotations from this book added a layer of philosophical depth to conversations. Others frequently recalled his poetic musings, as he was consistently equipped with the perfect quotation for any given situation. Gurney was unmistakably unique in appearance, being described as an ugly lump of a man. Aside from his ink-fine scar, he was said to have burly arms with large thumbs on long-fingered hands. He had wisps of blonde hair draped over sparse patches on his forehead. His blue, glass-splinter eyes were nestled in a lumpy, uneven face with flat features and a rounded nose. Humility and adaptability were among Gurney's most defining traits, which became evident when House Atreides relocated from their lush homeworld of Caladan to the harsh, barren desert planet of Arrakis. The hostile environment posed constant threats, yet Gurney met them with courage and resilience. Following the Harkonnen-led siege on Arrakeen and the death of Duke Leto, Gurney joined the spice smugglers of Arrakis, rising to a position of great influence among them. His decision to remain on the planet was largely fueled by his desire for retribution against the Harkonnens. After reuniting with Paul, Gurney's life once again gained a sense of purpose outside of his quest for vengeance. After Paul's ascension to the Golden Lion Throne, Gurney was granted the Fief of Caladan, a move that elevated him to the noble rank of Earl. During Paul's reign as Emperor, Gurney was also rumored to have become the lover of Lady Jessica. 
He also became the Baron of the former Harkonnen homeworld Getty Prime, where he abolished slavery and significantly improved the planet's ecological structure with the help of the people of Caladan. This transformative journey undoubtedly gave Gurney a profound sense of emotional healing as he discovered solace in purging the evils of House Harkonnen. Throughout the Dune saga, Gurney Halleck remains a symbol of unwavering loyalty and courage. His deeply held traditional values and outward toughness serve as a shell to protect his deep emotional core. These aspects of Gurney's life make him a standout character in the Dune series, a staunch ally, an insightful mentor, and a formidable warrior. His role in the rise of House Atreides cannot be understated. While his deep-seated loathing for House Harkonnen remained a guiding force in his actions throughout his life, Gurney Halleck stands as the epitome of a warrior poet through his unwavering dedication to the Atreides cause. It was not just his valor and fidelity that defined his character, he also carried within himself a romantic soul, finding comfort and expression in the language of music. Gurney's love for melodies and lyrics enabled him to evoke deep emotions in his allies and granted him the power to tell captivating stories, thus enriching his role as a legendary troubadour warrior. With each strum of his balisette and with every heartfelt ballad, he wove tales of love, loss, and heroism, creating a harmonious balance between the worlds of art and war. Halleck's story is one of resilience and redemption, and his journey is a testament to the value of determination and endurance. Despite severe hardships, he fought fiercely for justice and to defend those he held dear. His physical prowess and tactical cunning made him a formidable adversary, but his versatility and adaptability truly set him apart. His ability to take on different roles and adapt to changing circumstances was nothing short of remarkable. His actions, coupled with his unique personality, leave a lasting impression. Even after Paul's death, Gurney's influence persists, affecting the unfolding events and showcasing his enduring impact on the Dune saga. But I'm curious to know what you think of Gurney Halleck. Is there a particular aspect of his character or moment in his life that stands out to you? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe for more Dune and other sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. Thank you all so much for your support. And as always, have a very nerdy day.